Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today we're going to be covering how to find and highlight duplicate entries in Google Sheets. So a lot of times you'll be working in a spreadsheet and there'll be, uh, you'll want to know you can highlight potentially entries that appear more than one time in the Google Sheet. And that's what we're going to cover exactly how to do that in this tutorial. Before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really does help out my channel. If you want to see more videos of mine or you want to learn more about these productivity apps like Google Sheets, Google Docs, etc., please click that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click that bell. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. So I have a table here. It's got five columns. It's a playlist from my Apple Music. And we're going to sort on column C, which is the artist column. And I'm going to highlight any, any cells in this column that show up more than once. So the easiest way to do that is to simply click on the column, which is C. I'm going to go to format, come down here to conditional formatting. And as you can see, my range, my columns are selected. Here it says format cells if under format rules. And they give you a bunch of default rules, but unfortunately none of them match what we want to do. So what we have to do is come to custom formula. And then there's, and when you do that, there's a text box that'll appear that asks you for a value or formula. Um, in this case, it's a formula. So we're going to hit equals because you always start a formula in Google Sheets with equals. And then the function count if. Now that sounds scary, right? When you start talking about functions, but all function is, it says, this function does is count if everything from count if this way to the right is true. And if it's true, then it'll apply whatever formatting style you're looking to use. So count if C colon C, which says everything in column C, comma, C1, which means it's going to go uh, cell by cell, starting at C1, all the way through to the end. Close the parenthesis. And as you can see, it actually highlights that because it says everything in this column. So everything gets highlighted. The color green, which you can see here, is sort of the default color. But we don't want that. So we want everything that shows up more than once. And the way that we indicate that is by greater than one, which is telling this that count all these. And if this thing is happens more than one time, in other words, the value here, because it's counting. So every time the starting C1, every time C1 happens, it's incrementing itself. And then, and then that it becomes the value here. And if this value is greater than one, then it's going to highlight. But if it only shows up once, it's only going to be one. Um, in which case, it's not going to be greater than one, and therefore it won't highlight. So that's really what's happening here in this um, formula. And then I don't like green for highlighting. I like yellow. So I'll just make it yellow, hit done. And now you can see every cell here is highlighted. That is duplicated. So the Bee Gees, Ben Folds, Robin Thicke, various artists, and Wendy and Lisa all show up more than once. They all are highlighted. Other ones like Bruno Mars is only in here once, Snow Patrol is only here once, thus it's not highlighted. But let's say I add something later on, right? Because that's the other thing. Like you want to be able, you want the, the rule to always apply to anything I do in this sheet. So let's say I do another Wham song, which is the Wake Me Up Before You Go Go which I can't stand. It's catchy, but it, it really is just annoying. And that's by Wham. And I was going to make sure I spell it the exact same way they do it. Now you can see Wham got highlighted on both ro uh, rows here because now this entry shows up twice and it highlights it every time it does it. So if I were to change this to something, delete that, you notice it stops highlighting. I put it back in, it highlights. If I changed it to uh, Robin Thicke, now it highlights for Robin Thicke, but the way it doesn't, doesn't because it's not matching on that value anymore. So this is a quick and easy way of doing this. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, please click that like button as it really does help out my channel. If you want to see more videos on how to do uh, things in various productivity apps, whether it's Google Sheets, Google Docs, Word, Excel, Notion, Evernote, Todoist, or a variety of others, you really should be subscribing to my channel because that's all this channel is. It's literally covering all of those things um, in terms of how to make you 
do things in these applications to make you more productive. And if you want to be notified when I release videos, please click that bell. Thanks.